In this video, we are going to discuss error detection with CRC polynomial. In the previous video, we discussed that is error detection with CRC modulo 2. So, that video will be required for the understanding of this one. So, this is a continuation video. Please watch the previous one if you have not visited. So, now see a polynomial to represent a binary word. So, let us suppose this is a binary word I am having that is 1 0 0 0 0 1 1. So, here we are having the respective a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6. So, we can write this one in this way that is 1 x to the power of 6 plus 0 x to the power of 5 in this way. So, its short form can be written in this way because whenever the coefficient will become 0 they will vanish. So, ultimately I am having this x 6 x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 1 or only x plus 1 in this way we can write this respective expression. So, what is this? This is a binary format. What is this? This is the polynomial notation. So, it is a short form in polynomial notation. So, remember this particular logic at first. Next, let us suppose we are having this data word that is x 3 plus 1. In the previous video, we had the idea that data word was 1 0 0 1. So, first one means x 3, second 0 means x squared will not come, third, third bit was 0 means the x will not come, but 1 was there at the end. So, 1 will come. So, that is the x 3 plus 1 that is 1 0 0 1. So, that is our x 3 plus 1 is the data word and this is our divisor. So, what we are having that is x 3 plus x plus 1. What does it mean? That means 1 0 1 1. So, that is the binary form and the polynomial form will be x cube plus x plus 1. In this way, we, have, we can express this. Okay. Now, this is our x to the power of 6 x 3. Why we have written this one? Because we know that in the previous case, the respective here, how many bits are there? 4 bits are there. So, how many zeros are you, are you going to append at the end? In the previous video, we have discussed that is 4 minus 1, 3 bits. So, what will happen? All this, all this respective ex exponents will be shifted towards the 4 bit. So, what is 1? Actually, it is 1 x to the power of 0. So, it will become x to the power of 3. And what is this? x to the power of 3. So, if I put 3 zeros there, then it will become x to the power of 6. So, now it is coming down. We are getting here this x, x to the power of 4. Then this one will, this, this thing will be coming down here again. So, what we are doing? So, if we multiply this one as, if we multiply this one as 6, so it will become x to the power of 4, x square, this one will become x. I think you are getting me. Let me repeat once again. So, here we are having x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 3. How they are coming? They are coming. I have discussed that one right now. So, as it is x to the power of 3, so x to the power of 6, here x to the power of 3 is there. So, I shall be multiplying this one with x to the power of 3. So, it will, be, it will become x to the power of 6, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 3. Similarly, I am writing them in the same same exponent column. So, here I am getting this one as x to the power of 4. So, what will happen? This is my x to the power of 3. So, I should multiply this one with x. So, x, x to the power of 4, x square plus x, ultimately I am remaining with this and that is the remainder. What is that? x square plus x means what? means 1 1 0 which we get in the which we got in the earlier video also that is a 1 1 0. So, code word will become x to the power of 6 plus x cube plus x square plus x and that is the data word and that is our remainder. So, now let us go for the features the device the divisor in a cyclic code is normally called the generator polynomial or simply the generator. In a cyclic code those e to the e x that is the errors that are divisible by g x are not getting caught. So, if the error is getting divided by this g, g x that is g of x that they are not getting caught. In the generator has more than one term and the coefficient of x to the power of 0 is 1 all single errors can be caught. So, that means in this particular generator if this x to the power of 0 that is the last bit. If it is 1, then all single errors can be caught. A generator that contains a factor of the form x plus 1 can detect all odd numbered errors. 
So, these are the respective features whatever you are having in our CRC polynomial. Next, all burst errors with L less than equal to R will be detected and all burst errors with L is equal to R plus 1 will be also detected. So, probability is 1 minus half to the power of R minus 1. All burst errors with L greater than R plus 1 will be detected with the probability of this. So, these are the different conclusions researchers have derived from this particular algorithm. A good polynomial generator needs to have the following characteristics. So, how to generate one polynomial which can give the good and sufficient efficiency? It should have at least two terms. The coefficient of the term x to the power 0 should be 1. That means, each and every time the polynomial must be ended up with plus 1. So, x to the power 6 plus 1 in this way and it should not divide x to the power of t plus 1 for t between 2 and n minus 1 n is the number of bits whatever you are having in this total the code word. It should have the factor x plus 1. So, these are the different uh, features the respective polynomial generator must be having. And now, we shall discuss what are the standard polynomials we are having. So, these are the standard polynomials we are having that is a CRC 8, this is a polynomial CRC 10, CRC 16, CRC 32. So, here we are having the respective applications where these polynomials can be applied. So, in our video, we have discussed the what are the different features, what are how to generate the respective polynomials. So, each and everything we have discussed and all the bar traders will be detected, bar traders, what is the bar trader? We have discussed that one in the earlier videos that is L is less than equal to R. So, what is R here? Actually, R is actually denoting the number of parity bits whatever we are attaching. So, that is our R. So, in this video, we have discussed everything regarding the CRC polynomial. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.